Hello, welcome to our site on a Learn Introduction to Statistics course. However you got here, uh, you're welcome. We offer this um, free uh, to anyone uh, who can get to our Google site. It's available free on the internet. Uh, we believe the internet wants to be free, so it's not ever going to be up in, in back of a paywall. Uh, and indeed, our own students uh, use it. You may be here because uh, you're starting class soon and you want to see uh, what this is all about. The, this is what, what we call our first day getting started uh, video, just introducing you to the course site and how best to use it. Um, I'm Professor Linda Friedman. I'll give you over to Professor Hershey Friedman and um, he's going to continue and I'll get back to you. Let me tell you about the objectives of this course, things that you're going to be learning. You can see it on our screen here. First, you'll learn how to summarize data. We call that descriptive statistics. You'll learn about um, inferential statistics. Hopefully, by the time you finish this course, you'll know the difference between junk science and real science. You'll also learn how to use Excel. We have quite a few handouts on Excel for data analysis. So you'll be comfortable with Excel by the time you finish this course. Um, basically, we're going to get you comfortable with numbers. And remember, this course is no almost no memorization. So we want this to be a fun course. Let me give you over to my partner right here. All right, back again. Uh, let's navigate here a little bit. We've been on the home page. And uh, we'll go to the left-hand side navigation pane. Uh, the website, by the way, if you've seen it before, it has a nice new look, uh, thanks to Google, who forced us uh, to migrate to, to new sites. This is the year 2020 when such things happen. Uh, we're going to skip boot camp because that's really before you start the course, and we'll get back to it. In, in my opinion, the best way to start learning statistics from this course is to go to overview of lectures. There we are. And what you see is the topics from uh, start to finish of a typical Introduction to Statistics course. Um, each topic has its own set of notes. Uh, the notes are just uh, PDF files, printable, put, print them out, put them in a, a loose leaf binder, um, and take them with you when you're not in um, in, in internet uh, area. Uh, so everyone studies a different way. Some people like to read. If that if that's you, you'll, you're going to like the notes. Um, over here, we've got actual lectures. Uh, the lecture link is a PowerPoint um, uh, set of slides. Each one is narrated. So you can advance on your own, go fast, go slow, repeat, uh, pause, do a problem, come back. You're more in control. Um, this YouTube link is exactly the same thing. It's just that PowerPoint, so nicely, uh, allows us to uh, export uh, the slides with narration as an MP4, and then we just put it up on YouTube uh, so that you can stream it. Uh, some people, after a while, uh, when they're reviewing for the exam, like to just um, run the YouTube videos while they're doing something else, just listen, uh, just to listen to the lecture. Uh, while they're while they're doing other things, and uh, I've, I have found from you know students talking to me over the years that if you're having trouble remembering concepts, um, that's one way uh, to, to help you study for the let's say for the comprehensive final if you have one at the end of the semester. Uh, then we've got for each topic a very small set of exercises uh, that we call test your knowledge, and this is the do it now link. Um, and uh, all it is is I did the lecture, I know the material, I want to make sure it sticks, so I'll do a couple of problems. And then, of course, this is not your actual homework. Uh, this is just exercises to, to, to test your knowledge and make sure that you keep that knowledge. But what do you do after you finish the lectures? You go to homework assignments over here on the left-hand side in the navigation pane, and let's go over to the other Professor Friedman. Well, the way to really learn statistics, and we keep telling this to students, just do problems. The more problems you do, the better you get until this becomes like 
just natural to you. All right, and notice the way it's set up. You know, for each topic, like measuring data, our first uh, topic that we teach you in the course. Notice the homeworks, and um, also the solution is right there. So, but don't go to the solution first. Go to the homework. Uh, do the homework by hand. Take a picture of it, and you're going to be submitting the homeworks in Blackboard. And each professor is going to do it differently, but um, uh, they'll tell you how they grade this or whatever. But the reality is you have the solution. This transparency in this course, you can see the solution. Because we expect you to, those of you who want to learn by yourself can do that too. Of course, you, your professor will help you a lot. And if you can't do the homeworks, that's the job of the professor to show you where, where you're going wrong. But again, you have the homework. Do it. Take a picture of it. Send it to, in Blackboard. Those are called homework assignments. And then, of course, you know, you've got the solution there. Here's my partner again. So basically, we don't keep any secrets here. Um, you know, in, in a lot of cases, you, you do a, given a problem to do, and nobody wants to tell you the answer. It's not in the back of the book. You have to wait till the teacher comes back a week, two weeks. Uh, no, it's all here. Uh, we believe in transparency, all laid out for you. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, handouts, our, our page of virtual handouts, uh, you uh, use them as you need them, obviously. Um, firstly, very important, formulas and tables. Uh, if you're doing this on your own or if you're one of our students, if, you're, if we're, we're doing this in a face-to-face -face class, if you're doing this online in an online class or a hybrid class, this is what you need. We don't want you to memorize anything. I just clicked on this so you can see what's in here. It's a packet, which you can print out if you need it, and it's a good idea to do that uh, so you get used to using this and looking things up when you're uh, doing your homework. Um, you've got a couple of pages of formulas. Never, never, never memorize a formula, not in this class. And I'll tell you what I tell my students uh, when we do this uh, introduction face-to-face. -face. If I ever catch you, Memorizing a formula, I'm not only going to take off points from the, your next exam, but in a few years when your kids come to me and are taking a test, they're losing points too. It's really funny, right? I got that from the other Professor Friedman. I, I steal his jokes too. Um, okay, and these are various tables that you might use to, to look stuff up. Obviously, you're not going to be memorizing those. Let's go back to the course. Um, Excel. A very, very important part of the course, a very important part of the course is Excel. Um, you're not going to become an Excel expert, uh, but these are really, really handy guides so that you can sit down at your computer and do the work. You don't have to feel lost. All you have to do is follow step by step. And uh, just by doing it, by experiencing it, you're going to become uh, familiar and, and fluent, or maybe a little bit fluent uh, in Excel. And uh, if you want to take this further and do advanced Excel work, uh, you'll have the foundation for it. And uh, this is the same, well, it may be even better. Um, these are print, these are PDFs, and these are video tutorials uh, for using Excel in an intro stat course. Uh, this is, you know, less important at this point, but when it comes time to review for the exam, you have a lot of resources on this page. Uh, practice problems, review sessions, study sheets, um, uh, all it's all here. I'm going to give you over to my partner. Before you uh, actually even take the course, it's a good idea to go to the boot camp. Okay? We expect you to do this uh, before the class starts, but... Most of you don't even need it because it's really a review of the algebra that you probably learned in ninth or 10th grade in high school. You can see what's in the boot camp. We have summation notation. So you can learn about summation. Some of you use Excel, see that big sigma, which means sum, a column or sum a row. So the summation notation, weighted averages, expected values, learning, uh, reminding you how to use fractions, proportions, percentages, factorials. Remember what a factorial is? Like 10 factorial. That means 
10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Remember that? That's called a factorial. You learn how to solve uh, for, uh, for an unknown when you have an equation. That's a ninth grade algebra. You also learn about a straight line and what a slope is. So this is just refreshing your knowledge. You will need this in the course. But again, if you need a refresher, instead of taking a whole prerequisite in algebra, which is kind of ridiculous, just do the boot camp. Some of you will go through one, two, three, it may take you 20 minutes. You say, oh, I know all this. And those of you who don't remember things, go review. You don't need a whole prerequisite course, but this you do need. Just make sure you know the basics. And back to my partner. Yeah, I'm just here to say goodbye. It's been uh, nice meeting you in cyberspace. Uh, we both look forward to uh, hearing from you, working with you. Uh, and I hope you enjoy uh, taking the statistics course.